I've been loving these meal prepped pancakes. I basically just make my banana pancakes recipe, which I will link below. I make a whole batch and I keep them in the refrigerator. The trick is to let them cool before you store them in the fridge. That way they won't get soggy and you can easily just reheat them in the microwave or the toaster oven or the oven and they get really delicious and like minutes, which is great, like pancakes on demand. On this day, I topped them with some coconut yogurt, tahini, and fresh berries. I don't always have fresh berries on hand, so this was a really nice treat. I love this pancake recipe because it's slightly sweet from the bananas, and it has a bit of cardamom in them, so they're a little bit different, and they really remind me of the Norwegian waffles that my grandma used to make, so I love putting a yogurt or a vegan sour cream on top of them. It just really complements and offsets the sweetness and just adds an extra layer of flavor. Plus, adding some fruit adds fiber fiber, adding some tahini adds healthy fats and minerals and calcium and all kinds of good stuff. So this was an absolutely delicious breakfast and I had leftovers for the next day. Hey guys, so I'm about to meet up with my friend Taylor and we're going to be gathering some supplies to make a first day box or sometimes it's called an essentials box. I'm kind of thinking of it as like a care package from me to future me that I'm going to make here, send off, and it'll be there at the new apartment when I arrive. And it's just going to have very practical things that you want to make sure you have on hand right when you get to the new place, like a roll of toilet paper and hand soap, garbage bags, stuff like that. I made a list. I'm also going to make sure that it has like scissors and box cutters some microfiber cleaning cloths, some snacks like a good couple of bars or some cereal or just shelf stable items that I can kind of reach for when I'm unpacking and I'm hungry but my kitchen's not fully set up and I just need something quick and easy. I'm also going to make sure I have some band-aids in there because I feel like that's exactly the kind of thing that in the past I would have overlooked and then if I get like a paper cut from undoing the boxes or if I am hanging something and I scratch myself like having band-aids on hand will just make things so much easier. I don't have to remember which box the first aid stuff is in. I'll have a couple of them in my first aid box and it'll just make life so much easier. I was also thinking of putting some fun things Things in there too because this new apartment is not going to be home just yet it's going to be really empty and brand new when I first get there so I like the idea of having a couple little creature comforts in the box so that I really look forward to opening it and it's not all just like really practical stuff and my friend Taylor is really good at putting together boxes and baskets and stuff like that so I know that she's gonna help give me some good ideas I was thinking this would be a good thing to share if any of you guys are moving and you also want to create a first day box but if you know someone who's moving this would be a really nice gift to do for them so you could create a little first day box with some treats in there wrap it up send it to their new home so that it's waiting for them when they get there I know they would appreciate it and in the future I definitely want to try to do that if I can because I think that would be a really nice gift before I leave I'm gonna do some cleaning though because I have some furniture that I am selling and donating so I want to make sure that it is dust free there's nothing sticky on any of the surfaces and everything is nice and fresh I'm also gonna clean off the like kind of shelves and all the surfaces in my apartment so that it's nice and clean, clean the bathroom, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna put on an audiobook and get started on that. One of the things I noticed when I was packing up my apartment was how much single-use plastic is involved in cleaning products. And as a conscious consumer, this was something that was making me feel really not bad because obviously it's like you need to have cleaning products, but it just seems so unnecessary to have to repurchase another plastic bottle every time you run out of the cleaner. And I recently learned that about 90% is water anyway with just a small amount of the actual cleaner. So not only are we wasting plastic, but we're also overpaying for what is essentially water. So I teamed up with Blue Land to bring you this portion of the video because this is the new cleaning system that I'm adopting. It just makes so much sense and it makes it really easy to kind of live out that value of wanting to just do a little bit better. You have what's known as a forever bottle. You fill it up with your own water so you save money and then you just add the Blue Land tablet into the bottle. It fizzes and your cleaner is ready to go. The refill tablets start at just $2.25 so it's a much more affordable option. It's vegan friendly, it's cradle to cradle certified, and it's hypoallergenic. And they don't contain phosphates, chlorine bleach, parabens, VOCs, ammonia. There's the multi-surface cleaner. There's a bathroom cleaner. There's a glass cleaner. There's a hand soap, which is a foaming hand soap that comes in a really pretty, very minimal glass bottle. And it foams really nicely. And it's really pretty in the bathroom as well. So Blue Land is offering my viewers 15% off your first kit. Just click the link below this video. Check them out. I really think you guys are going to be impressed. And it's just a little thing that you can swap in your daily routine. I clean every day in some way or another. 
water. Even if it's just wiping down the counter or wiping down the bathroom mirror, I'm constantly using cleaning products. So I like to make sure that I'm using one that is better for me without harmful ingredients, obviously, but also if it can be better for the planet, like why not? So I really think this is awesome and I think you guys will too. Click that link below and I'm gonna start cleaning. One of the things I've always really liked about this Target is that you can see the Hollywood sign from the entrance. in the mood for something healthy like if you're like what do you want to do for lunch she's like definitely something healthy and so i knew the perfect place to take her was sweet green i love this place it's like a build your own salad bar they do have their own bowls and combos that you can choose from but you can also make your own which is so fun Okay, it doesn't look like much because I asked them to mix it up. I think salads taste so much better when you mix it with the dressing and everything is chopped up, just more cohesive and delicious. But the hack is I get the miso bowl, which I think is only on the winter menu. Instead of kale, I get romaine. And instead of the chicken, I sub lentils. It's so good. It's got warm rice, it's got cabbage, it's got romaine, so it's nice and crunchy, almonds. And then it has this really nice miso dressing, which is like a miso ginger dressing. And they also have rosemary focaccia, which they told me is vegan as well. So I'm very excited. We're getting a little snack. I think I'm gonna get the chocolate swirl, and she's gonna get not chocolate chip, probably. Sounds so good. We were talking about how shopping makes us very thirsty. Yeah, what is that? I didn't even do any shopping. It's a lot of work. I was just window shopping, and I'm thirsty. <laughs> okay, Definitely not. I want to actually hour. know if other people. <laughs> Oh, These soft serve ice creams are really cool because they're made from pressed fruit juices and I got the vanilla flavor and also the dragon fruit flavor. The consistency was so nice. This was really refreshing and it was like smooth and creamy and nice and thick. I loved it. The dragon fruit flavor was delicious. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I just got my nails done. I got this pink color for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna be using these flat rate boxes that you get at the post office. You just pick them up and then you pay when you send them. And I'm probably gonna use two of these. Roll of paper towels, toilet paper, garbage bags. This was influenced by TikTok. These are Trader Joe's fruit jellies, kettle cooked soft gummy candy. These do not contain gelatin. They have pectin as a thickening agent and pectin is naturally found in fruits like citrus fruits and apples and that kind of thing. It helps to set fruit juices so like when you think of jams and jellies candies like this it works really well they have a bunch of different flavors i just feel like they're going to be a fun thing to have on the counter and just a little sweet treat we're not going to have any coffee mugs or drinking glasses until all the stuff that i packed up from this kitchen arrives there so in the meantime i'm just going to bring two of these pretty coffee cups i feel like they're a good size so they could double as a nice water glass as well but one thing i look for in coffee cups is a good size obviously because I love my coffee but I also like when it kind of tapers up at the top that helps to keep the heat inside the cup and your coffee stays warmer that way I really like those wide big coffee cups it reminds me of like back in the day Mary Kate and Ashley had a show so little time it was in Malibu and they were always at this coffee house with these really big coffee cups they're always on Gilmore Girls too I love that look but your coffee gets cold in those cups really quickly because the opening is so wide so I feel like if you can find a tapered shape like this it really does make a difference all right and then i got this candle it is the aloe and bergamot and it says the notes are cactus blossom aloe vera lime and prickly pear i know scent memory is strong for everybody but for me especially when i move i feel like when i remember the first couple of days or weeks in the new apartment i remember what it smelled like because i usually have a new candle for the space and it's just funny because when i think back you know to all the apartments that i've lived in over the years one of the first things that comes to mind is that scent. I also got some paper plates and instead of also getting the silverware, I'm just going to be wrapping up some of the pieces I have here. I saved like two forks, two spoons, two knives, and I've been using them while I'm here. The rest is packed up in the boxes, so I'm just going to probably throw those in my suitcase. I also got some coffee essentials. I got this shelf-stable oat milk. I got some coffee, obviously the coffee cup. I got these fig and raspberry bars, band-aids, 
sponges, a nail file. This is one of those things that is easy to overlook but actually comes in so handy, especially when you're moving and you don't have all of your bathroom stuff set up. I feel like the one thing I always need and I don't have is either band-aids or a nail file. So this time I'm covering my bases. I feel very proud of myself. I have some teas. These are just from my pantry. I want to use up the box. These are the Tabitha Brown Organic Lemon Balm teas. They're just really soothing. They don't have any caffeine. I'm going to be packing the bathroom cleaner with the bottle as well as the hand soap. Got a few different protein bars. I think these are probably some of my favorite, the Nugo. They have a few different flavors. The chocolate almond I like. I think I've had the chocolate pretzel. It sounds good, I'm sure I would like it. They're kind of crispy, crunchy. They're not too sweet. They have a thin layer of chocolate on them. And as far as protein bars go, they're not they're not bad. Usually if I'm on the go, I'll have this and like a banana or an apple or whatever. And it makes a pretty good snack that holds me over for a while. Also these no cow bars, these have more of like a protein powder texture. They're a little bit softer. I mean, they taste like a protein bar, but I think they're pretty good. And I like the chocolate flavor and the peanut butter. I also got some peanut butter to put in there as well as some dried apricots. I like dipping dried fruit into a little bit of nut butter as like a natural energy bar. It's just a really good snack when you just need a little boost and that's pretty much it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the box or the boxes, we'll see. actually really fun to do and it's actually been a while since I've made a care package of any kind never made one for myself but I forgot how much I enjoy putting stuff like that together I feel like baskets and boxes are such good gift ideas because you can do a little of this and a little of that corral it into a basket or a box and make you know like a very personalized gift and so I feel like I want to start doing more of that it was a good reminder of how fun it is to kind of curate those types of gifts got two more videos until I'm in the new place and already I am really missing doing like proper cooking and proper recipe testing. Taylor actually asked me, she was like, what's the first meal that you're gonna make in the new kitchen? Like what's the one you're excited about? And I hadn't even thought that far because there's just so much like logistics on this end of it that I hadn't even stopped to imagine like what that first night would be like when my kitchen is all set up and I've got groceries and I'm gonna make a meal like what is that gonna be so I'd love to know how you guys would answer that what would your first meal be in your new apartment or your new home I feel like I'm gonna want it to be something that is comforting and familiar but also really flavorful and fresh so let me know how you guys would answer that thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to check out the link to try blue land in the description box below and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye!